Hey, well, welcome back to my channel. All right, today is gonna be part two of my neutrals collection. So I'm gonna share with you my golds, my browns, my kind of like creamy browns, and then my blacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the blacks. First one I have is ILMP Silhouette. This is a black with little gold flakes, and then it's got little tiny blue flakes. Although those blue flakes are more like a peekaboo blue and they don't really translate on the nail. And this one is um, really nice for like a party or New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, something like that. Okay, then my go-to black undies are Black to Black by Sally Hansen, which is your basic two coat black cream. Use this for undies. Okay, then we have Simple Colors Black on Black. That's interesting. This is black to black and this is black on black. I don't remember what the formula like on, I don't remember what the formula on this is like. Um, so I should do a comparison. I'm gonna do a comparison of these two so that I can see maybe these are better and I can use these as black undies. Okay, then I have Restored by Polish Matte Black and this is a one coat matte black. Really, really nice formula. I use this if I want to do like one coat of black with like a flaky, like a flaky crelly, and I really want the flakies to pop under black, but I don't want to do multiple layers because I don't want so many layers of polish. So I use this one when I just want like a thin, um, opaque black undies, and this does that in one coat, really nice. Okay, then we have Essie's Hang Up the Heels. And this is a black and it's got a very faint green shimmer. You can kind of see it in the bottle. Although to be honest, it's pretty much non-existent on the nails. It really just adds kind of a sheen. I should probably declutter this and I probably will declutter this in my next round of declutters. Uh, that actually reminds me. So usually when I've done my declutters in the past, I usually declutter off camera and then I just come on camera and I show you what I'm decluttering. Let me know, I'm thinking of decluttering once I finish my collection series. I'm thinking of decluttering drawer by drawer. Let me know if you'd like to see that, if I should do my pinks and you know record it, show you go through my thought process and then declutter that way, or if that would be boring and you want me to just at the just declutter off camera and then show you, hey, this is what I'm decluttering. Leave any suggestions down below. Let me know how you'd like to see it. Um, okay, and then the next one we have is Glitter Days Bellatrix black with tons of glitters so pretty little tiny rainbow glitters and then little tiny gold glitters I haven't worn this one in a long time this is another really nice blingy holiday glitter really pretty oh this would be nice for I should um, wear this this October for Halloween that'd be really pretty Halloween glitter okay and then we have native war paints black tie this is a black with just a really interesting kind of like murky um, like olivey gold olivey green gold shimmer really pretty I haven't worn this one in years but this one is pretty interesting okay then we have dollish polish I lit the black flame candle this one is just a black jelly and then it's got those beautiful beautiful flakies so the last time I wore this, I ended up doing three thin coats and it wasn't quite black enough for me. It was almost kind of like a, it wasn't gray, but it, I just wanted it to be more black. So the next time I wear this, what I'm gonna do is one coat of the Restored by Polish Black and then two coats of this. And then that'll really make these beautiful flakies pop. And I think I'll wear this one this October. Okay, then we have Zoya's Blaze, one of their Scattered Hollows. Love, I have all their Scattered Hollows and they're so good. Beautiful. Okay, it looks like it's about to rain or storm. So if the lighting goes out, I apologize. It's rained and stormed yesterday for hours and it looks like it's about to do the same today. Okay, then we have Polish for Day's Fire Opal. This is so beautiful. I got this in 2020, I believe. Yes, for the love of polish 2020, I bought the box specifically for this polish. I didn't get around to even wearing this until just a few months ago, but this is so beautiful. Look at those fiery flakes. You've got blue, you've got that bright, beautiful, like pink, pinky purple, and you've got that green shift. So, so pretty. So beautiful and unique, I love it. All right, my last black is Glam Polish Dementor's Kiss. 
so pretty one of their little flicky bombs i've had this one for years so good look at those beautiful flakies and it's got teeny tiny silver glitters or hollow little hollow glitters that's so pretty <clears throat> all right let's go ahead and do the silvers the golds all right the first gold i have sad to say i don't like this this is opi's golden eye i know this is a cult classic and everyone loves this and i hunted this down i finally found this years ago on a canadian website i was shocked that they had it and they also had my boyfriend scales walls which is another cult classic that um you know you can't really get anymore and i got them both and i don't love this you guys i don't know it's just I don't like the shade of gold. It's very sheer. You need three coats. And then it just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. But again, it's a cult classic and I'm not going to get rid of it simply because it was a lemming and I hunted this down and it would feel wrong to get rid of this. I know so many love this and it is sparkly. Next time I wear this, I think I'm going to wear undies, but I have to like undies and then one sheer coat of this to just kind of give like a soft sparkle. I have to figure out what kind of undies I want to wear with it. Okay, then we have Zoya's Tomoko, one of my favorite of their pixie dust. So beautiful. Look at that. So, so pretty and sparkly. <clears throat> then we have Zoya's Brighton. It's the only one of their scattered hollows that I hated. This just looked terrible on me. It made my nails look dirty and grungy and it was just, it was gross. Um, dingy. And so I franken, I decluttered it and then I frankened it and now it's so interesting it's like a murky grungy pewter it's just it's so interesting i really like this one really pretty all right then we have glitter days y2k i haven't worn this one in years this one used to be a favorite gold um this is kind of like a like a bronzy antique gold and then it has all those little rainbows um, rainbow flakies so pretty I think the last time I wore this was maybe two years ago, but I've had this for probably going on 10 years. I got this in the very beginning stages of when I um, was getting into indie polishes. The very few first few brands that I ever bought from as far as indies were KB Shimmer, um, Glitter Days, Dollish Polish, and Native War Paints. Those were the first four brands that I really um dipped my toes into all right and then we have zoya's ziv it's very metallic gold not my favorite i don't love metallics and i don't love these shades of gold i do when i do use this i use this as undies still not my favorite but i feel like you need golds and so this is a good gold staple to have and then another um, gold that i feel is a decent staple is sally hansen's go for gold again it's kind of metallic -y. it's not my favorite i keep it just because i don't have a lot of gold in fact these are really the only two golds that i have that would be considered undies they're different shades you can see this one is more kind of like a yellowy orangey gold so definitely different shades and i do use them i just i don't love them on their own they're definitely undies for me Okay, then we have Dollish Polish Scruffy Looking Nerf Herders. This one is kind of like a, like a grungy, almost antique gold again, kind of similar to, um, where'd it go? Similar to the Glitter Days ones, how it's kind of like antique looking. Not my favorite when I wore this. I wore this with a mani. I forget, I used it as an accent nail. I can't remember what I wore it with, but I did not love it. I need to wear this again, to try like maybe as um, I don't know if this would be sheer enough to use as, as a topper I'm gonna have to experiment with this at least try to wear it one more time and then probably declutter this at some point it is interesting it's just it wasn't my favorite and I don't love golds to begin with um, I love gold toppers like gold flakies or gold glitter toppers or like um, china glaze golden enchantment I love those but opaque golds i'm not the biggest fan of uh, i prefer silvers okay then we have colors of carol king tut this is a pretty gold with blue blue flakies are they flakies or they're glitters yeah they're little blue flakies and this is so interesting 
and this one you can definitely use as a topper or you can get it opaque it's kind of got like a like a sheer jellyish formula I would say it's not a topper but you can use it as a topper okay then we have colors of Carol shale this is kind of more like I should probably put this with my browns um, this is more of like a bronzy brownish gold I don't know more like a bronze would you consider bronze more brown or more gold? I'm thinking this is probably more like bronzes are more brown. But either way, there's that. All right, then we have 90 Holy Fire. This one is just a gold glitter. Um, from what I remember correctly, you can use this as a topper. Probably should put this in my toppers, I don't quite remember. I think at one point I was keeping all my golds in my neutrals, whether they were kind of topper-esque or not. And then I started getting a lot more gold toppers and I, you know, since put them in there in with toppers. So I can't quite remember if this is more topper or more opaque. Either way, I haven't worn it in years. All right, then we have Rogue Lacquer's Golden Autumn. It's a pretty kind of like bronzy gold and then it's got, or like a, like an antique gold i don't really know how else to describe it then it's got those pretty little purple flakes those purple flakes are so pretty and i almost wish that the purple flakes were in more of like a cream base so that they would those purple would really pop out and that'd be really pretty all right the last gold is kale polish mother of dragons now this is a gold with a very strong olivey green shift to it i think at one point i toyed with putting this in with my olive greens and then i i didn't want it to get lost because i have so many olives and i ended up just putting it with my golds okay okay now i'm gonna do my browns okay so just a little backstory uh, most of you probably know this but for years i've been saying i don't like browns and then every now and then i would come across a brown that i absolutely love and i would say you know like this is an anomaly that i love this brown but lately i've been really starting to appreciate browns and i've been accumulating more browns and then probably back in like october november i went on a brown kick and i bought a ton of brown creams with the intention of this year using them with a bunch of nail art I haven't worn any of them, only one of them I'll show you. Um, so you'll see them all in my untrieds. Um, but for someone that doesn't like browns, I now have a ton of browns. But like I said, most of them are in my untrieds. All right, so the first one is Danny by Viana Centaur. This is so beautiful. Look at those flakes. Just gorgeous. I mean, ugh, look at that. So beautiful. Okay, then we have Bees Knees Lacquer, What Have the Dark Lord Wrought. Oh, yep, it's storming. Hopefully the lighting will stay okay. Um, this is more like a murky brownish olive green. It kind of shifts both ways. And then it's got that beautiful shimmer. It's red, it's green, and it's got those little silver flakes. So, so pretty. Okay, let's try to speed this up before the lighting goes bad. Okay, then we have different dimensions, extraterrestrial. I love this one. This one is like a murky brownish green. This pole is very brown on me, and it's got those gorgeous flakies. Like, look at that. They're green, they're yellow, they're orange, they're pink. It's just so pretty. I love this one. Just beautiful. Okay, and then the first real brown that I ever bought that I was like, wow, I love this brown, even though I don't like brown. This is Emily Damali Opposite Order. I bought this, this is one of the very first Emily Damalis I bought, and I fell in love with her kind of like shifting shimmers that she does, so beautiful. It's been a long time since I bought from Emily Damali, but there was a good like two-ish years where I was just buying every polish that she was coming out with. Just beautiful. Look at that shift, so pretty got kind of like a soft I keep saying murky but I gravitate towards murky colors so 
the browns that I love tend to be kind of murky. So it's got kind of like a murky brown base and then it's got that beautiful strong blue shimmer and then it shifts pink. So pretty. Okay, and then the one brown that I have fallen in love with instantly, the second I saw it, it was just love at first sight. You probably know what it is. This is Night Owl Lacquer Leaf Peeping with Sasquatch. This is my favorite brown in my collection. This is one of my top favorite polishes in my collection. I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's a rich reddish brown jelly and then it's got those gorgeous gorgeous flakes look at that they shift yellow and gold and then they're like reddish orange this is fall in the bottle it's beautiful i love it and i feel sad for anyone that doesn't have it <laughs> all right um, then we have dollish polish the fratellis this one has terrible ugly bottle syndrome this i'm gonna have to swatch this to see if it still swatches the same, I'll probably declutter this at some point. I've only ever worn this once and I don't think I'd be heartbroken if I got rid of it. But it was originally, again, kind of murky. A murky, kind of like, um, kind of like a caramelly, murky brown. And then it has these little flakies. And it's, again, suf suffering from terrible ugly bottle syndrome. Really interesting and unique. I definitely don't have anything else like it in my collection. But again, I'm gonna have to see how this swatches if it still wears the same. All right, then we have, this was when I went on a brown cream kick last year and I was going to TJ Maxx, um, head to toe, not head to toe, 88 Beauty, and I was just buying all the brown creams that I could find. Um, and this one is one that, I one that I bought, but I wore it already, I wore it in February. This is OPI's. That's what friends are for. I use this as undies for my Galentine's Manny. Look at that, really pretty. And I'm really starting to appreciate these browns. I don't know what it is. I just, my tastes change periodically and now I'm really enjoying and appreciating browns for what they are. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised because I love earth tones i'm very drawn to greens and reds and oranges and anything that you would find out in nature i'm really drawn to those colors so i shouldn't be surprised that i'm suddenly liking browns because they're very earthy okay and then the last brown is ion p candlelight and this is really pretty it's got that brown base and then it's got that beautiful red shifting green shimmer and then it's got little tiny um i'm trying to see if they're hollow looks like they're probably hollow flakies tiny tiny hollow flakies so pretty they have a whole collection i think they have two of these collections and i have a few of them and they're all pretty i know krista loves the entire collection she has a whole collection look at that very pretty really nice formula all right, then I have just a few kind of like creams with a little bit of brown in them. First one is ever, or like kind of like beiges. First one is ever after Visarian. This is just kind of like a beige cream and then it's got those pretty gold flakies and I think it's like little gold glitters too. Now it looks like they're just two different sizes of cut up gold flakies. They're really pretty. I think when I wore this, I ended up wearing it in December like in, in the winter. All right, then we have Native War Paints Homicidal Unicorn Maniacs. I believe this is a Franken. I think I decluttered it at one point, not because it's not pretty, it's super sparkly, it's pretty, but I don't tend to wear these types of um, like cream colors. These kind of like beigey creams, I never tend to wear them. So I decluttered it and then I believe I uncluttered it and frankened it and made it even more sparkly. And I must have worn it at some point because it's not in my untried. So I guess I wore it once and then forgot about it. All right, then we have KB Shimmer Self Reflection. This is kind of like a, like a creamish base. Maybe it's more gray. Maybe this should go with my grays. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, probably gray, right? 
Um, anyways, kind of a beigey grayish base, and then it's chock full of that silver reflective glitter, and then it's got that orange to yellowy shift. I did not love this on the nails, you guys. This is one of those polishes where it just makes my nails look dirty yellow, and I did not love this. I will probably declutter this when I do my next round of declutters. But in the meantime, let me know, should I store this with my beige creams or should I put this in my gray drawer? All right, then we have Native War Paints Coffee with Lots of Cream and Sugar. It's just a pretty kind of like espresso coffee green, coffee brown, coffee cream. Coffee cream is what I was trying to say. And then it's got little tiny, it's like tiny, tiny gold glitters or tiny, tiny, tiny gold flakies and it just comes across as a really pretty shimmer. This one's really pretty and again, I've only ever worn it once because I just don't tend to gravitate towards these neutrally cream browns. All right, then we have Native War Paints. All I need is a little of your time. And this one's pretty. It's soft beigey cream and then it's got beautiful little flakies it's got little gold flakies and it has little rainbow flakies all right guys that was the second part of my neutrals next i'll be getting into my glitters which i think a lot of you are probably looking forward to my glitters um that reminds me um i have another question for you so i plan on doing a video of all of my island p toppers like all of the different shimmery aurora type toppers i want to do a video on those on that let me know if when i do my glitters if you want me to include those in my glitters so that when you see my whole glitter collection as a whole you can see them or if because i'm doing them as a separate video with just my lmp toppers if that's good enough and you don't need me to add them into the glitter um, glitter videos because it'll just make the videos longer um, let me know down below. Um, if you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.